Next we're going to be doing football helmet fitting. For um, this, uh, we're going to have, uh, have the patient stand. And one of the first things that I like to do is to make sure that uh, you either read to or read with um, the athletes um, the warning symbol on the back to make sure that they've read the whole thing and understand everything completely. Um, and it also re re ensures that they've at least read it uh, at least once. Um. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do uh, when we're ready to fit the helmets, we want to have them in a standing position and we want to have them with their hair, hair worn similar to practice so we may need to wet it a little bit uh, to simulate uh, sweat. Uh, then we want to go ahead and um, uh, with the tape measure um, or the tape measure that uh, comes with uh, football helmet or manufacturer. You want to measure the circumference of the head. And based on that reading, then uh, that'll help you determine the, the specific size of the football helmet that you need uh, for that uh, football player. Once you have the appropriate size um, helmet, uh, Uh, you want to take a look to make sure that it has all the, the pads in it, the jaw pads on, on this helmet. They Velcro in, some snap in. Um, so you want to make sure that all of those are in. Um, and then you want to ask the um, player to uh, go ahead and uh, slip the, the helmet on. Okay, and again, what he's, he's going to be um, slipping it over his ears. He might need to separate the, the ears a little bit. Once the helmet is on, uh, again, well, we want to make sure that the, the jaw pads um, are in a proper place. Uh, we may also have some units. Oh, can you hand me the where we might need to uh, inflate some of these pads uh, with an air pump. So they might be on the, the sides or the top or the back. So um, one thing that we also want to make sure of is that uh, the helmet um, helmet is about um, two inches above the, the eyebrows. And then we also want to make sure um, that uh, the face mask is about uh, uh, two or three inches from the back, from his nose, from his face. Another thing that we want to do uh, when, we're, when we're on here is we also want to make sure that um, uh, we snap the chin strap in place. So we want to uh, attach the, if it's got, like this one has four straps, we want to snap the top ones on first and adjust those. And once those are uh, equal distance or centered, um, we can um, secure the bottom snaps. And again, ideally, uh, what you want is you want to make sure that the, there's equal tension on all of the straps as well as the, the helmet is uh, centered on the, on the player uh, and that it's uh, not too uh, uncomfortable on the, on the chin. Okay? And if you need to make those adjustments, you can, you can do that. Okay? Once you have... Um, the helmet and the, the chin straps in, in place. Um, then uh, you also want to, uh, go ahead and stand up a second. Uh, go ahead and turn. Uh, you also want to make sure that on the back of that helmet that uh, the helmet is just at the, the base of the neck or the head by the occipital bone. 
Um, so that's fitting properly. Um, I'll go ahead and turn back around. Uh, we can also uh, check the, the ears to make sure that the, the ears line up. Um, we can check uh, the vision to make sure that he has uh, good vision as well as uh, peripheral vision on the sides. Um, another thing that we want to check is um, by uh, again compressing down on the helmet uh, will help us determine if it, uh, if it needs any more air inflated into, into the bladders. Um, and then uh, we also want to um, uh, check to, to make sure that um, when we move the, uh, the helmet, okay, the helmet is um, secure. Um, if it's loose at all, then again, we may need to make some adjustments with the paddings or the inflating of the, or the chin strap. Uh, if all of that feels fine on him, then we can also check the uh, range of motion of the neck to make sure that he, he can uh, flex his neck and extend his neck, and then also uh, lateral uh, flexion and then rotation uh, for chin to shoulder on each side. And again, just to make sure he's and then we can also assess that uh, with the shoulder pads on. And then if there's any other adjustments that we need to make, we can do that. Um, as well as uh, if, he, if the, any of the pads wear on the jaw pads or any of the other bladders needs to be replaced, we can replace those uh, or inflate them if uh, we need to. That's it.